it is our belief that the, the better the students, the better UCSF will be. And so we don't want money to be an impediment. We want students to think about the lab where they can meet their hopes and dreams. We don't want that principal investigator to spend too much time on grants. We don't want that principal investigator to think, how do I cover this student's funding? So what the Moritz Heyman Fellowship allows us to do is to decrease that pressure on funding, to say the best labs should take the best students and, and money shouldn't be a part of it. If it's a great fit for UCSF, come here. How, how much money is are those students receiving or how much were, were they historically, how much would that be alleviated now through this gift? Uh, so, yeah. so unusually for graduate students, the lab pays for their Funding. So a, a market increase actually now into the tens of thousands of dollars in what's needed to support a student means that that puts a lot of pressure on grants. And so what this funding allows us to do, particularly for the first three years, is to say there's funding to support that student. It doesn't have to come out of the grant. Are we talking up to six figures that this would cost a student over those three years no, or no, less no. than that? So, so this is, it costs the lab okay. the money to support the students. And so the, the unlike professional education where it's more like tuition, this works fundamentally differently. But that funding that re is required from the lab to fund the student can be an impediment. So the lab says we can't afford to take a student. This takes that away from the equation. If the lab has something outstanding they're working on, a great teacher, and wonderful research, the student can go because they're covered. Okay, great. Thank you very much. <laughs> Absolutely.